Around 1650 BC, there was a great city in the south of the Jordan Valley. It was the largest center of the southern Levant. The city was 10 times the size of Jerusalem and 5 times the size of Jericho. It was an extremely important place. Much of the area's cultural image was formed here. Soon after, however, the history of the city came to a sudden end. Archaeologists working on Tal el Hammam site have found their layers that testify to the existence of a settlement for a thousand years. The city was built, destroyed and rebuilt over many centuries. But suddenly, in the Middle Bronze Age, a 1.5 meter layer appears which attracted the attention of specialists because it contains unusual material. Among the remains that could indicate massive damage from an earthquake or war are fragments of ceramics, the surface of which has turned into glass, boiled bricks and partially melted building materials. All this proves the existence of high temperatures much higher than could be achieved with the technology of that time. According to Kenneth, professor of earth sciences at the University of California, the temperature must have exceeded 2000 degrees Celsius. Professor Kenneth and a group of scientists from other U.S. universities and research institutions have published an article in which they present evidence that Tal el Hammam was destroyed by a meteorite explosion similar to the Tunguska meteorite. If they are right, then we are dealing with the first city known to us destroyed by a meteorite and, as some researchers have been proposing for several years, with the Biblical Sodom. The remarkable coal rich layer of destruction from 3600 years ago in Tal el Hammam marks the moment of a sudden departure from the city center in the south of the Jordan Valley. In the 30 km wide area of the valley, 15 other cities and over 100 villages have been abandoned by the same time and uninhabited for 300 to 600 years, we read in the summary of the study. Scientists write about a completely destroyed city, and the distribution of the bones found indicates extreme dismemberment of the bodies of the people who lived there. Analysis showed the presence of iron and silicon rich spheres and molten metals. I think one of the more important discoveries is deformed quartz that has been subjected to high pressure, adds Kenneth. The high salt concentration in the studied layer is also supposed to prove that a meteorite exploded over Tal el Hammam. Its average concentration is as much as 4% and in some places it reaches 25%. The force of explosion could scatter salt from the nearby Dead Sea and its shores around the area. And it was this salt that could have caused the population of those areas of the Jordan Valley to decline from tens of thousands to perhaps hundreds of nomads for hundreds of years. Nothing grew on the highly saline soil, so people left the area. The evidence gathered suggests that people began to settle in Tal el Hammam and the surrounding areas about 600 years after their sudden departure. Since the discovery that Tal el Hammam was suddenly destroyed, possibly as a result of a meteorite explosion, there has been a debate as to whether it could not be the biblical Sodom one of the two cities that got destroyed for the sins of their inhabitants. The description in the book of Genesis correspond to what could have happened during a meteorite explosion. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this short update from Israel.
If you want to stay up to date and receive information about new episodes, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also support this channel by joining the Israel My Channel. This will certainly help to improve and create more content for you. Have a great day and Shalom!